Hey, this time I wanted to provide a quick tip about moving objects between parents whilst preserving their um, transform. Let's get going and I'll show you an example of how this works. This might be a weird video, so I might just send this to people when the question comes up, but sometimes I do this anyway. Let's get going. Let's move POV. So I have uh, two lampposts here that I'm creating. I know they don't look much like lampposts, so I made these in about two minutes. But we've got on the right here, we've got a lamppost with the, the lamp of the lamppost on top. And on the left here, we've got my lamppost, but there's no lamp. Now, how would I usually want to get that lamp onto the lamppost? Well, I might go up to the top here and inspect my lamp. In this case, it's just a box and go open inspector. Go up on level and you'll see the box here. I might duplicate it and then think, okay, well now I have two, but I need to move it so that it's on the other lamppost. So I might go ahead and select the second one and, and move it across. Well, that's kind of slow, right? That took me several clicks to do. Or I might try and do the following. I might try and go, okay, let's inspect the second lamppost and let's parent the second light to that lamppost. Oh, but it's it's still, it's still on the first lamppost here, so I still have to move it across. Cool. Oh, well, let's go ahead and maybe reset its position. Oh, but now it's at the middle here, so I've still got to move it up. So it's at the right point. There's actually a different way to do this, which will do it super quickly. So what we could do here is go back to... Actually, let's uh, reset a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that second light. What I can do is inspect the second lamppost here. And because it's... Um, its sort of structure is the same, its position, rotation, and scale is the same. And the, all the box needs to do is hop across there. What we can actually do is go ahead and create a new box by hitting duplicate. Select the second box and then grab the second lamppost that we want to send it to. So in this case, cylinder here. Grab it here and put it into the parent slot here, the parent field up here. And watch what happens. We're going to hit drop now. Boom. Our second light has jumped straight across to that second lamppost and uh, there was no dragging or position or rotation or anything like that involved. It's over there, and if I go ahead and select it, you'll see that the transforms are exactly the same here. So it's 1.3 units above the center of the lamppost. Thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful. I use it like all the time, and some people haven't realized that you can do it, so this is for you guys. Just another quick tip here. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.